Good afternoon, Cheryl. <laughs> hello there. Hello there. So, thank you for you know coming onto my virtual sofa and have a little conversation with me. Right. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So, to people who are listening in, welcome to Everyday Conversation with Everyday People. Today, um, you know, a good friend that's speaking to me, Cheryl, is an entrepreneur. She's an author. And she's a working mother, you know. <laughs> to me, that is like superwoman together, you know. And um, I actually told Cheryl that, you know, we wanted to talk today about inspiring. So mm -hmm. isn't that just so apt for Cheryl to come on and tell us a thing or two about inspiration? That is a, that is a uh, very interesting word inspiring and I, I think throughout my corporate life and uh, in my personal life and then yeah, as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. I've always seek to inspire and educate and that has always been a hallmark of almost everything that I do both at the professional front and and at home um, so a little bit of background by myself I spent 20 years out in corporate across different industries uh, and holding different roles both uh, both on the front line and also on on the back end functional role yeah. um, and um, I am I am inspired by the people I work with and at the same time I trust that I inspire others and and I hope this conversation that we have Jermaine will seek to do the same with whoever the listeners uh, uh, come on to I know right so just to lay it out there right this conversation is not just for women who want to turn into super women okay it is for both gender right so to the men you can also be inspired by this conversation yeah. You know? Absolutely, absolutely. You might know I launched my book, The 24-Hour Woman, back in 2015. And when I went on my international book tours, I actually have more men in the queue uh, waiting to talk to me than, than women. And one of the perspectives that they bring in was that, you know, Cheryl, I've, I've read the hypnosis and all. It's as applicable to me as, as, uh, as men. Than, and then as women, we are all navigating a little bit differently. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to get the book and, and read it through for myself. Then I'm going to gift it to my girlfriend or my wife or my sister. So, um, and I've got so many requests asking me, so when are you going to write about the 24-hour men? I think it will only resonate and, and be true to it when I have enough conversations with, uh, with working dads with single that uh, with, with sure. single a uh, male who has caregiving yeah. duties and all and and you you started a conversation say you know it's a super woman kind of concept i think it's about i hope to be able to inspire you to think about how can we navigate life differently at different right. life stages um and so when i was in corporate i have i got married i have a kid but and then how did i navigate when i became an entrepreneur and I became a mom with three boys and then now a single mom with three boys and running a full practice. Um, I hope to inspire you to think about how you're navigating your life through different life stages. Mm. Who do you have uh, as your support? Mm. Uh, what systems have you set up for yourself to su be supporting yourself? And, That's right. And I, I think a key piece is about how do we think differently? Yeah. You know? If we yeah. keep thinking that we have to do everything in 24 hours, you're going to be inviting burnout. That's if we right. think about a longer arc and think about the legacy that we want to build, um, and I, I think that then allows us to build something meaningful and to be contributing to something that inspires ourselves in return. I totally agree. So, you know, originally I was thinking, wow, let's get Cheryl to talk about, you know, what how she can inspire us like personally and professionally but the way that you pull the two together just really makes me think of you know like the work-life balance you know how we always have this, <laughs> yes. this issue to contend with like oh what is work what is life and and what is the balance I think it sounded like you found something that you love to do right and then you just went ahead and that is work is life life is work you know, and, and I think, and I think, in that definition, there's a challenge to a lot of people. Uh, first sure. of all, I would say, and I would just want to lay it up front that work-life balance does not exist. If you're looking for it, Absolutely. it's a thing. 
<laughs> but work life navigation of how you make things successful for yourself and fulfilling for yourself and bring joy to yourself and the people around you is about navigation. Yes. Right? It is not static. You know, particularly given that now some of us are thrown to work from home, your kids are studying at home, etc. Yeah. If you are thinking for work life balance, it you know your your static thinking will will basically trap you. But you think about how you can navigate it. How can you how can you move with the flow with the long term legacy in mind allows you then to derive joy, to derive satisfaction while doing what you are doing. And I am quite blessed, I must say, Jermaine, to find. What I truly love to do, mm. and uh, and be blessed to do that, and I strongly encourage anybody at any point in time. Think back. What's your first love? What are you passionate about? So look at what you're passionate about. What are your areas of interest? Look at is there a way that you can make a living out of that? And by that, I'm I'm saying not just an income because that means that you have just created a bigger job for yourself. Then you might as well just stay employed. But look at how you can create a business out of it, and then be able to define your kind of lifestyle that you want. Let me give you an example. Um, Twenty thirteen, before I wrote the book, I was thinking to myself, I have three boys. They potentially will be all over the world.、Mm. I need to find something that I'm going to be doing that will produce or or that will give me an income,、uh, and yet the mobility to be with them. Yeah,、Makes、and、sense. that got yeah, and that got me to think about what do I have that I can create that will allow that mobility, and I am not a techie, but I explored what kind of technology will allow me to do that, and then over the the next three years, I then transited a fair bit of my practice. Seventy percent of my practice now is online. I have a、yeah. distributed practice that's around the world. Yeah. So it allows me to number one, do what I love. Number two, get an income and build a business that also bless others who's on my team. And then the third thing is allows me the lifestyle that I am planning for. That's right. So I encourage all of us, and I hope to inspire you to think in that manner,、oh. because that that then allows you to find what. It means for you in terms of work-life navigation. I think so too. And you know, Cheryl, it's it's strange as I as I was listening to you. Isn't it true that this pandemic and this crisis actually afforded us an opportunity to think like that? Look, all of us are being thrown <laughs> to work from home, right? Absolutely,、so、yes. Working from home is honestly the start of a of an entrepreneur's career. Really, I mean, if if all of us who 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 transited? Say, I transited two and a half years ago. Yes. My home is my office. You know. Yes. So right now, you know, all of a sudden we are being thrown into this pandemic. We actually、yes. had a chance to take back and and like look at it again and say, hey, I actually can transit. You know. So I wanted you know to talk to you a little bit about this, Cheryl,、mm. because some of us, the truth, ah,、uh, the truth is, some of us are going to lose our job. It is true. You know,、mm. so there are two choices. It's either we face it and we tell ourselves, "Look, there's always another way," or we fear it, and then、yeah. we get trapped. So, as, so yeah, I like、exactly. you to inspire us to face it. <laughs> yeah. Number one, I think in in Asia, very few of us can say we started our business out in a garage. Yeah, Many of us start start our business either at the kitchen top or at our dining table and and things like that. And and that's 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 all that's awesome.、Mm. All I need you to think about is, I start, because when you start, the next step will unfold. Yeah. There, you know, and and as things unfold and ex you experiment, then it surfaces out because some of us might have been in corporate life for so long that our hidden talent and our passion is so buried we don't really know that. And、the second thing is in the security and the comfort of where we were in corporate. We don't know what we don't know, and we don't know what we actually can do and do know. That's right. But, but this is the time to experiment what it is and be able to find it. And you are so right to say that a lot of people fear it, right? Whether the pink slip come your way or not, I would advocate that you always be at the top of your game in knowing. What your passion, what drives you, and what you can be offering in terms of driving or deriving an alternative income. That's right. 
Yeah. Right. And be, and because and not because you you are thinking about leaving the firm, but having that ability to say, I'm not trapped. I have options. Then allows you to build that confidence that you do not have to fear and be on a defense. In fact, you have a you have a very good chance to be on offense to be counter offering if anything happens. So I would I would encourage us to think about how do we build those strengths before we even need it, uh, and be able to cultivate that before we even even reach that stage where we are given the pink slip. Now, if you are anticipating any of that, begin to take proactive step right now. Yeah. And the first proactive step I think is to be able to have clarity of how far you have come. Yes. You have knowledge and skills and experience. What we do need is how do we think differently yeah. with those knowledge, skills, and experience. How do we unpack all of that and repack it into what is the next normal? That's right. Right? And, and I encourage us now to start thinking about a tick stock and unpack that and repack that. For all you know, you are stepping into a role of your dreams because in the past, he has never existed. But it will be in the, new, in the next normal. Yeah, indeed, right? I mean... Cheryl, to be very honest, you know, given if I, if, I, if I hadn't had to face up to the pandemic, you know, I wouldn't be able to do this series, quite frankly. Yes. You know, I, I, I don't know anything about Zoom even prior to this. You know, I have no idea how to record, let alone edit, let alone put it on YouTube. <laughs> oh my goodness. To yes. be very frank, if I can do it, let me just put it out there. Anyone can do it. But you're very right. I think the very, very first step in to, to propel me to do this was really to face up with my fear. And, and that, is, that is no joke, you know. So I just wanted everybody to know that, you know, once you take a first step out, like what Cheryl says, you know, actually the next step follows. Yes. And it follows very naturally, isn't it? Yeah, and, and if you were to not take it as a linear step, Mm. But take it that to say that I'm going on an adventure of discovery. Yeah. An adventure that allows you to have a spirit of experimentation, Correct. of trying, of learning. Correct. It's just like you are gearing up for yourself to climb Mount Everest. You're going to learn yeah. new things. You're going to have yeah. new, new, new training. You're going to have new gears on your back. And that's what it is all about. It's a new adventure that you're going to go on. It is true, isn't it? So Cheryl, you know, I mean, time is so running out, but I have a burning question. When is your yes. next book coming out? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I thought what might be interesting for your audience would be grab my best-selling book. It's yes. available right now, uh, free yes. on the 24hourwoman.com. Yes. And we do have a new book that's coming out and that's targeted for spring. Um, it's wow. all about... And it's all about, yes, the 24-hour woman again. But this time around, something that's very close to my own heart is about exploring life stages and okay. different life stages. What are our needs and how might some of those needs be met? Again, it's a complimentary book. So if you have, uh, you don't have to wait until spring to get a copy, get this copy right now so that we have you on the list to uh, let you know, you know, put you on notice when the new book will be out. But be blessed. This is a season of opportunity uh, and I hope I inspire you to think about what your new adventure is going to be uh, for the coming months ahead. That's right. And certainly inspiring indeed, you know, <laughs> not just for the women, but for the men. Can you imagine? Men, actually, more men actually read your book on the 24-hour yes. women. Oh my goodness. And, and we are so blessed. In case you haven't heard it, it is FOC, you know. So, if you want to reach out to Cheryl, please go ahead on the 24-hour women, right? Is that what it is? Yes, 24hourwoman.com. That's Dot where com. you can read. Very good. Or if not, please come to us, www.elpishideout.com and we will connect you. So, Cheryl, thank you so much. As always, you know, I know it's going to be a, a fantastic conversation whenever I talk to you and indeed, it is. So do take care. Thank you so much for the invitation. Yes. <laughs> take care. Stay safe. Until the next time, 
you know, um, looking forward to seeing you and then enjoying an actual coffee together soon. Okay? Definitely. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.